Hi guys, I am Vyomesh Singh from geek for geeks In today's video, we are going to talk about postgraduate program in Triple IIT Hyderabad. Why we are talking about Triple IIT Hyderabad? First of all, you can get admission there without gate. And second, it is as good as old IIT. Yes, old IIT. You heard right. Why so? In Triple IIT Hyderabad, the research facility, especially in computer science, is as good as old IIT. Their academic exposure as well as the MOU is as good as old IIT. Placement wise, it is as good as IIT Bombay or IIT Delhi or IIT Madras. Means their placement is far better than most of the IITs. And fee, fee is highest in India for postgraduate. That is only disadvantage here. We will talk about it everything. We will cover every aspect of Triple IIT Hyderabad. First of all, where you can apply. Triple IIT Hyderabad, you can apply in three courses, M.Tech, M.S. and Ph.D. In M.Tech, you can apply for Computer Science and Engineering or Computer Science and Information Security. And apart from that, you can apply for M.S. In the Triple IIT Hyderabad, M.S. is only for two years, not a three year. So that is also very interesting area where you can get admission. And Ph.D., it is five year program there. So you can directly apply for Ph.D. without M.Tech as well as M.S. So, let me tell you the eligibility for each program. For M.Tech, if you are B.E. B.Tech or M.Sc, M.C., M.A., you can apply there. For M.S. and Ph.D., either you are B.E., M.Tech, M.E., uh, or in any branches, first of all, or M.Sc, M.C., M.A. in math, then you can apply in M.S. and Ph.D. These are the eligibility. Now, Triple IT Hyderabad conduct their own exam, which is known as the postgraduate entrance exam so this is if your gate score is not good then you should go for triple it hyderabad no doubt this is the best college apart from bits plan bits plan is also good triple it hyderabad is you can say it is as good as old iit even better than bits planning so what is the pattern for pgee for pg exam Pattern is 90 minutes for aptitude test and 90 minutes for subject paper. Both have different cutoff. That means you need to clear the cutoff for both paper. And what is the syllabus for computer science subject paper? TOC and compiler are not part of their syllabus. So that's a good thing for many students. And they are asking very basic concepts basic algorithm, basic data structure, even in digital electronics and database, they have described what they are expecting from you. They are not expecting you to study whole syllabus. And you should also able to write C or C++ code. Even though you are not good in C, C++, you are good in Java or Python, then also you will able to crack that exam. But they also ask very basic. In 90 minutes, they are going to ask many questions which are not fixed every time it is different, but questions level is quite easy. So you can crack it. Only thing you need to keep in mind is time. Now we are going to talk about fee, which is the only disadvantage of Triple IT Hyderabad. Fees for MTech is 3 lakh per year. 3 lakh per year. Yes, it is highest in India. And for fee for MS is 75,000 and for PAD also 75,000 per year. Apart from that, this year fee for hostel and mass is 75,000 per year. You have to pay the fees semester wise, but fees is really high. But return of interest is also good, I will tell you later. A stipend, there is no stipend for MTech. There is no stipend for MTech, but if you have already qualified gate, even though your score is very less, you will get the stipend from MHRD, which is 12,500. And for MS, they are providing the stipend from 8,000 to 10,000. For PhD, a stipend is from 15,000 to 30,000. You might be thinking, why this much gap between 15,000 to 30,000? At the time of the coursework, your stipend is 15,000 to 20,000. After the coursework, your stipend would be 22,000 to 30,000. So stipend is decent but not very good because in centralized college or center funded college, even DTU, NSIT, PhD stipend is 45,000 45, per month. A stipend is not very impressive because all the central government funded college like IIT, NIT, even the colleges like DTU, NSIT provide the stipend 
45,000. But research facility as well as the placement for Triple IIT Hyderabad is one of the best. Now, placement wise, average CTC for the computer science is 25 plus. Yes, average CTC for computer science is 25 plus. That means 25 lakh per annum. This is average. Highest package is around 50 lakh and lowest CTC for 10 lakh. So you can understand even though fees is very high, but your placement is also very high. Uh, company like Apple comes in Triple IIT Hyderabad, which are not wasting many of the IIT. So placement wise, no doubt it is the best college. But fees is very high, no doubt in that. But you can easily get the loan from Bank, State Bank of India, which is inside the campus of Triple IIT Hyderabad. Apart from that, you can also ask any of your alumni to pay for your fees. Yes, alumni also pay the fees for a student. But in that case, you will also be obliged to pay fees of one student in your future. So that is the only condition, but it is very feasible condition because if someone is paying your fees, it is your moral obligation to pay someone fees when you have the money. So you can pay the fees later after two or three years of your job. So that is quite good. Now, let me tell you, the forms are already out. The last date is 24th of March and entrance exam is 18th of April. After the result of entrance exam, there is interview as well. An interview it depends on your subject skill as well as if you have any experience like research ex experience or projects or any research internship. Your interview can go in these way. Uh, like in the placement, your interview can go in based on your research internship or any kind of experience you have plus your subject like DSA, algorithm, whatever subject you want to mention. Apart from that, you can see in the fee section, Fee is 1.5 lakh per semester, MS 75,000, PAD again 75,000. And fee and a scholarship is given for MS 8,000 to 10,000 and for PAT 15,000 to 30,000. The fees for the hostel fee is around 75,000 per annum. So this is all given on their website. Now, how should you prepare for Triple IT Hyderabad entrance exam? The exam are not as tough as gate the level is uh, quite low than gate but but the number of questions they are asking in 90 minutes are high and one more thing if your aptitude is good if your aptitude is good then your chances are very high because 90 minutes for aptitude and 90 minutes for your computer science subject so there is a good chance if your aptitude is good because it matters 50% of weightage. So that's a good thing for many of your students. And they also provide many research facility, many exposure. So I would suggest you should try for it, give your best. And I have seen students who crack Triple IT Hyderabad only in two months. You have already, if you have already prepared for GATE in last year or last one year or two year, so it would be quite easy. Now number of seats in Triple IT Hyderabad. They normally call around 500 students for interview and seats they allow for MTech and MS is around 100 to 120, which is not fixed. It depends on the number, candidate they like or candidate they find deserving. So that's all about Triple IT Hyderabad. So it's all about you guys. If your gate score is not good, you are not getting admission in top IIT and NIT. Triple IIT Hyderabad is as good as IIT. So you should try for Triple IIT Hyderabad.